A beautiful moonlit open sky works well over the dark carry fields. Stillness and quiet adding to the atmosphere. Ranging course ramble freely along long lost pathways. In the distance, the black familiar outline of ancient hills still shadow their valley during daylight. But kisses the landscape which surrounds it on nights like this. Kilmore, Dalla. The mines and down the clock alight with a silver reflection draws my attention. But I journey on still to Lisbon. To Nina. It's there where I'll meet old friends, past foes, reflect the memories, maybe stay a while. Although it depends on who's there to greet me. It has been said that in life you can choose your friends, however. It's also a case that the enemies have no problem whom it is they select either. And most enemies last forever. One comrade whose company I look forward to and I do hope is there is Jack. You could miss Jack easily, though I long for his companionship occasionally, and I must admit to admiring his strong rhetoric. It's from him where I've grasped how the educated seem to speak a different tongue. And in his company I find it easy to rid myself of my own unimportance. He likes to disappear, to past glories and victories, to relive former triumphs, to lead his bloody charge yet again, one last time. To an eye, clock prior, and back through our crony to Clock Jordan, where he'd fallen out with several settlers in years gone by. Always want to restart an argument as Jack. The old Jack. I never mind a wait for him though. And I can always find something to pass the time. She wants time to an old fool like myself with nothing but age on my hands. Except drift quietly in the shadows. I silently observe the young, their fun and games. And what they get up to these days. I casually mingle amongst different generations in bars, taverns. Parties, weddings, funerals, indoors, outdoors. I figure in the shade, lying with the throng, unseen, unheard. The wonder at the corner of one's eye, the rustle of branches on a calm spring day, the sudden chill down your spine. I've witnessed with jealousy the youth grow up. Games of passion with youthful zeal, lost in back alleys, or lusting in hidden orchards. Groups dispersed to leave, maybe two immature couples. One with one in a fallen down shed. Every noise, hushed whisper, howling wind. Shuffle of tiny steps, a plastic bag moving in a darkened trail, in a lonely, derelict barn. It might have been me, watching, waiting for the acquaintance of Jack, and sometimes make me feel bored, bored and wanting. I want to sneak up on people to watch their every move. Good people, bad. It doesn't matter to my conscience, but then again, I'm not sure I even have one. I'm good at it though. Few have noticed me standing over their shoulders, creeping around the next turn. The last one you just passed, peering through windows. Distant reflection hiding in your mirror. A 
dim in a bedroom with a merry complexion. An adult, happy with tonight's supper, lying drunk, alone, staring at her dreams, a creaking door, a curious feeling. Is somebody present? Turn towards the deepest night. Open your eyes. It might be me. A cold draft rubs your back. What's that? Who's there? Were you ever lost as a child? Were you all alone? Or did you have an imaginary friend? A secret friend? A childhood friend? A lost childhood? The innocence of children helps dispel the deadly sensation I have to endure in this hollow existence. They bring a smile momentarily, but then they grow up and are gone. Nearly 200 years I must be now. It's not counting the days since I thought I tasted peacefulness among dying nettles, wet soil, and winter air in the verge of a boring drum black 47. Withered to the bone, my fresh skin was that of a corpse, sallow, wrinkled, lifeless. Pain had ripped through me, pierced my body on the cold, damp roadside with every movement. Every cough which shut me, cut my throat in torture. What little strength my blood had left filled my lungs. My mouth, my nostrils, the muddy ditch alongside, attracting black hungry rats to feed. That was slow to come to me, and the agony still lingers on in my thoughts, if that's what you call them. They fill my being with dread to remember, and it leaves behind an anger, a hatred towards happiness. There's no happiness in the graveyard forgotten. Especially with the shadow covering an unmarked piece of land waiting for the blessing which might free me from this purgatory. And then there's Jack, the rebel. He sinned against the church for many. His deeds were noble, his beliefs were true. For he was laid to rest in a rich man's town. Cursed the haunted country he once protected. He bears that hatred too. I've seen others like me, spectres that roam to streets once walked and lived in, all still familiar in our memories, staring at the living with a lowered craving, a raven perched high upon an autumn branch, dead leaves flutter in the breeze. A soft voice glides past your ear, rubbing a icy presence against your nervous face, whispering, watching, detesting the happiness the youth now enjoy. In my wake I left young men ashen face, features faded, life rushed and quickly ebbed away. Grey aging overnight. Women, girls, lasses, all have screamed to madness at my presence in the dark of night. Petrified of me. Of course. I know you. Your own shadow creeps up in you. Terrifying experience awaits to endure an anxious death. And now you. I watch the living gather together on All Saints' Eve. Children, grown-ups, 
Wear masks of demons, of pagans. I've watched them through the flickering flames of a pyre built to the sky, climb to the heavens, having fun. The anger built up inside, and I was tempted to reach out, to pull another soul to my realm, to my last cemetery, a cursed world of forgotten spirits. I journeyed to his bunny, to Nina. I wonder where Jack is. Will I be alone again? Should I watch the youth having fun through the streets? In the warm houses, the restful bedrooms. The air turns chilled as I glide past with my damning eyes, searching for a victim. To satisfy my anger and my hatred under non-existent innocent lives. To unleash my terror on the selfish living. What was that? Noise? A chilly gust of air, a nervous tickle along your backbone. Can you feel those eyes? Staring closer. Do you feel you're not alone? When we call this year